What's up, my bros? I'm your host, the one, the only, the RJB0. Welcome to the 360 Binder Challenge. What is the 360 Binder Challenge? Well, it is an opportunity for Simo and I to compete to get the most value out of our cards. The way it works is the two contestants, or however many contestants there are, fill an entire full-size binder with 360 slots with cards. And the goal is for both of us to trade away or sell away all of those cards as quickly as possible and for as great a value as possible. Eventually, one of us is going to run out of cards in the binder, and we have to both start, stop trading and stop selling and compare how we did in a video. Hopefully, we're going to be doing this in a live stream. Contestants are allowed to put more than 360 cards in their binder, and they're also allowed to put extra cards into their binder as they go along, but you cannot start with fewer than 360 cards. Now, I'm going to get to the rules for how I do sales and trades in a second, but before I get to that, without further ado, let's get to the challenge binder. If you have any questions about rarity, addition, or condition, let me know in the comment section below. However, I do have mostly mint condition things, and I will let you know what the condition of a card is when you make an offer on it. I can provide pictures if that's what you want. Let's get down to the binder. We start off with some deck cores that are going to be particularly cheap since I'll be getting rid of them as a set. We have the three Grunix, three Yaksha, three Barong. Then three Onslaught and two Circle. We've got the Worm Core, which is especially cheap. This thing's like a $10 core. We've got a Worm King, three Nebula Meteorite, three Kartaros, three Yagen, and three Zex. We've got the Gladiator Beast Core, which is not all hollows, and that annoys me to no end. It is a little bit OCD-inducing, but it is a complete core for Gladiator Beasts, at least the cards that you are likely to be using this format. We've got the Ulti Esidari, two Gold Geysaris, two Rare War Chariot, and a Secret Warrior... Uh, at a Secret War Chariot, we've got two Ultra Proving Ground, one Secret Mermillo, one Secret Equest, and a Common Equest, one Secret Darius, and a Common Darius, three Secret Laquarius, and two Bestiaries. One of this is the regular Bestiary, the other is my favorite misprint, the, the Super Saiyan Bestiary, which will come with it. This thing has comes with a yellow background instead of a blue background, as you see here. It is not a highlighter job. As you can see, there are cuts in Bestiari's wings that also show the yellow background through, which is just something no human being could do with a highlighter. I can provide more pictures, though, if you really want. We've got the Agent Core, which includes three Master Hyperion, all gold rare, three Venus, two common, one, one rare, uh, three Earth three Rare Herald of Orange Light, three Super Shine Ball, two Super Christia, and a Jupiter. Our Evil Core includes three Westlow, three Najasho, three Serato, two Ulti, one Ultra, three Evil Force, three Volcano, two Diplo, and a King of the Feral Imps, and, of course, the obligatory two Lagias, one Dolka, three Eva Diversity, and three Eva Singularity. We move on to the singles. This part of the singles section doesn't really have uh, specific prices. They have kind of suggested prices that I could give you if you ask for them, but... Um, uh, these are just kind of things that I put in here. We've got four tour guides. One is Starfoil, one is Black Rare, one is Super Rare. We've got the Gold Veil, or Ultra Recruiter, Gold JD, the Hands. This is a Legend of Blue Eyes, Left Leg of the Forbidden One, in amazing condition. I am really impressed with the condition of this card when I got it. And a Super Max C. Our next page includes... A first edition Invasion of Chaos Black Luster Soldier. This is a thing of beauty. This Yamato is from the tin. We've got a gold Nat Beast, a Super Crimson Blader, and the arrest is rather obvious rarity. We've got three A Hero Lives, one common upstart goblin, a soul charge, an ulti spellbook of secrets, ulti felgrand, super or uh, unlimited abyss dweller. We've got a hieratic dragon king of Atum first edition. Two Super Max Change, one Super Debunk, three Ultra Decree Time Space Travel, two Phoenix Wing Wind Blast Secrets, two Anti Spell Fragrance, and a Needle Bug Nest. From now on, things have slightly more defined prices. I mean, if you get more things, that I'm more willing to negotiate on prices from here on. But they're all fairly low price anyway, so it shouldn't make a huge difference. We've got the Turbo Pack Green Gadget starting here. Is all three dollar cards? We've got Turbo Pack Green Gadget Ultra Commandant. 
And this is a Super Bubble Man, first edition, in perfect condition. Three Kinkabio. Two Ultra Bottomless. One Abyss Rising Gaga Cowboy, a giant grinder. And now we go into the $2 cards. Book of Moon, Miracle Fertilizer. The Book of Moon is secret. The Miracle Fertilizer is super. Three Super, first edition Dark World Dealings. Two uh, Shadow Specters, first edition Return of the Monarchs. One Rainbow Karibo. Then one Hobby League Red Gadget, one DT Rare Constellar Kaos, Bujin Mikazuchi, 96 Dark Mist, Herald of Pure Light, and an Ulti Exastag. The Exastag is first edition. And then just something cool and collectible I tossed in is an Elemental Hero Shining Flare Wingman, a Super Cyber End Dragon, and Secret 7 Tools of the Bandit. We are moving down to the $1 cards, a Secret Shining, Secret Hanzo, Secret Cyber Dragon. These are all secrets. Secret Ruler, Secret Lakeside Lady. More secrets. This one's from the tin. We now have Ultras. These are... Um, from the Blue Eyes Structure Deck. This is a promo. This is also a promo. This is from the Legendary Collection, and this is an Ultra Cyber Dragon. More Ultra Rares. We've got three Ultra Light Pulsar, three Ultra Barbaros. These are Ultra Rares. These are Ultra Rares. These are also Ultra Rares. These are from the Tin. These are also Ultra Rares. Uh, this is a DT Gishki Beast, a Gold Torrential, Gold Icarus Attack, Gold Solar Recharges, Gold Mind Control, Ancient Pixie Dragon, Gold Celestia, Gold Monk, and now the Super Rares. We've got Super Rare Sol uh, Penguin Soldiers, Super Rare Fossil Dinas, Super Spores, Super Rares. More Super Rares. This is, this is from the original pack. This is, of course, from the tin. This is from the original pack as well. Three Reaper of Prophecy, two Super Absolute Zero, and a Gaia. We've got two Synchros, uh, TG Hyper Librarian, Mispered Colossalus, and Shockmaster, Colossal Fighter, Super Karakori Burays, and Super Hero Blast, Super Black Garden, and a Legend of Blue Eyes Dark Hole. Then we've got two Super Tunings, one Original Pack Obedient Schooled, um, that is in fact First Edition. Just as a toss in there, Super Gates of the Dark World, Ninjutsu Art of Super Transformation, our final $1 core card is Shadow Core. Uh, we have now 50 cent cards from here on in. Everything is 50 cents. So we've got DTs, all DTs, right here. Get all your DTs here. See that? Those are all DTs. We've got more DTs. We've got Ultras. All of the Ultras. More Ultras. How many Ultras can we put in a binder? That's as many Ultras as we can put in a binder. These are just commons. Uh, we've got a Secret Iron Call, and these are all Secret Rares. More Secret Rares. Actually, these are Golds. Uh, these are Secret Rares. This is Ulti. This is Ulti. This is Platinum. These are Golds. More Gold. And then our Supers. If you have a question as to what a card is, just kind of time stamp it in a comment. And... I will try to get to it as quickly as possible. These, once again, are all super rares. More super rares. All the super rares. More super rares. Further super rares. Increasing super rares. So many 50 cent super rares. And our final page of 50 cent super rares. So let's get to the rules and some of the small bonuses that you can get if you support Team RJ. So the first bonus you get is if you trade or buy for $10 worth of cards or more, you get two free 50 cent cards. And if you want, I will sign one or both of them. And if you buy or trade for $20 at least worth of stuff, then I will give you and your channel a shout out on my next Casual Friday video. So those are just some small bonuses. There's also the fact that a lot of these cards I'm going to be trading or selling uh, at a slightly lower price than normal. So the rules that I have are pretty simple. The first one is that if you're going to be buying, I would like it to be more than $5 worth of stuff just because shipping costs money uh, and it generally is not worth it. Uh, if I cannot get more than $5 worth of stuff because I end up paying more for shipping than I'm actually getting out of it. Uh, the other rule for paying is that I prefer PayPal, and when we work out our deal, I will let you know the logistics of how we're going to do that. The last rule is that I do not send first. Now, I don't want that to turn anybody away because I actually have a fairly advanced system 
for making sure that people's trades are secure and that I don't, you know, people don't worry that I am going to scam them. First of all, the nature of this contest disincentivizes me from scamming people because I want to get rid of the cards in the, in the challenge binder. Uh, however, I also have this spreadsheet right here that I think is really going to help. First, we've got your name, and then we have the cards that you want to trade for, and then the cards or the price that we worked out for the trade, and then there's It's a Deal, which is a category that is basically the date on which we said both said the words It's a Deal, which seals the deal, makes sure that we both know exactly when we made that trade. Then there is your sending date, which is where you can either just tell me that you sent or send me a proof. Proofs are really good because uh, they, they basically show me uh, for certain that you have sent me those cards. It's best if you can show me uh, you putting the card in the envelope, sealing it, and putting it in the mailbox uncut, but you don't necessarily have to. And then I will give you the date uh, that I receive it, and I will probably send you a video of the fact that I received it, and then I will send you the proof of my putting the cards that you traded for or that you bought into the mail, uh, and I will put that date right here. Now, this document is public. There is a link to it in the description below, as well as a link to my wants slash likes list, and if you didn't see anything on the likes list, don't worry. That Those are just the higher-end things that I'm possibly looking for. I will be willing to look at binders, but once again, I still will not be willing to send first. So go ahead and support Team RJ in the 360 binder challenge. My goal is to get rid of every card in this binder. Let's make it happen. Thank you guys for watching. I'm your host, the one, the only, the RJB0, and I got a jet. See you guys.